Ahí está. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? It's very boring. You? How are you today? I'm doing okay, thank God. Yes. How was your day? Did you have a good day? Yes, of course. I didn't do anything important, Special? but okay. it's very boring. I only do my homework and only that. Okay, good, good. All right, so everybody, welcome back. Today is July 1st, 2020. Um, do you guys remember which topics we covered yesterday? Yes, teacher, I remember the, the class yesterday. Okay, can you please mention some of the topics we discussed? Um, I was studying the, the most important when do you use the verbs in regular and regular verbs. Okay, um, what's the difference between those two? What's the difference between regulars and irregulars? Can someone help Edward uh, answer? Uh, the regular verb. Uh -huh. uh, only you need to end the ED. Okay. When you when you use in the past. Exactly. What about irregulars? We said the regular verb. The some of them change or uh, the or the verbs. Yeah, most of them change. Change completely. But exactly. the other one, uh, you write and you speak the same way. Exactly. Very good. So, like Lisette said, when we are using regulars, that means that when you conjugate the verb, you are putting ed in order to use it in past tense. If you're using irregulars, then the verb usually changes. But there are a few cases where they stay exactly the same. Okay, um, does anybody have any questions about yesterday? Questions or comments? No. No? Okay, so let us begin. Um, before we start, when we are using, uh, when we're expressing activities related to the past tense, which options do we have? What options do we have to express things in the past tense? Uh, you can use the, the auxiliary D. Okay, so you use this for the simple past, very good. What is the other option that we have um, that is similar to the simple past? The verb be in past. Okay, and what is the form of the verb? Was, was and, where. and where. Okay, was and where. And uh, you can also use past continuous. So if I ask you, what were you doing today at 11 in the morning? You would probably answer, I was watching TV, I was working, I was cleaning my house. So you use a different structure to express ideas in the past tense. Okay, um, so let me show you the image that we will be working with. Okay, no, not this one. All right. So this is, uh, can you see the image? Yes, teacher. Okay, what is the name of the image? What is the name of the image? Can you see it? What is the name? Can someone tell me the name of the document? Either pass. Okay, be in pass. 
Exactly. Okay, so let me uh, 8 to 9 p.m. So this is what we're going to be, this is going to be our first activity. You guys will be working in pairs. Um, try to use only English when you are communicating. You might use Spanish only to clarify or to make things clear, but not for communication. So if you can do it in English, that will be fine. So let me, um, so the first example says, I am late. How do you transfer that to the simple past? I was late. Number two says, are they hungry? If you want to transfer that to the simple past, you can say, were they hungry? So what would be number three? Thomas isn't at school. How would you say that in the simple past tense? Thomas wasn't at school. Good. Very simple. So this is only to refresh your memory. If there is something you don't understand, you guys let me know. So let me uh, make the rooms. Uh, here we go. Annie, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. You're supposed to be in room three, but I don't understand why um, the group doesn't read. Let me try again. Okay, thanks. Okay, let's see. How was your day, Annie? Annie? Yeah, okay. So, they were aren't here. Yes. We have to Hi, do teacher. the verb be Hello. Hello? Yes, Hi. Okay, uh, let's, let's begin. Um, the white mail. Yes. I was the white mail. I don't know what is the mean white mail. What is the mean white mail? Um, I don't remember too. I which number? Which number are you doing? Sixteen. Um, Sixteen. Fifteen. What is the white mail? Oh, oh, winner. Ganador. Winner. Ganador. Oh. 
Okay. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Uh -huh. The 17 is the answer correct, and you can check the is for was. Was the answer correct? And I think your turn. Who is sick? Is who was sick? Yes, and I think my turn. Number number ten. I just I just seven. Nice. Are you square? Was was you? Oh. Uh, what is that? Again, I I. They they were. Hmm. Okay, then I understand. I don't understand. Um, they uh -huh. weren't. They were for. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? Oh, fine. I'm just getting in to the topic of this night. Oh, okay, good. Which number are you doing right now? We uh, finished. Um, Finish. Okay. Yes. But Francisco, um, I, you just I joined. Know. Okay. Yes. All right. Let, let me check in the other groups to see if they're finished already. <laughs> uh, we can practice more, teacher. Sure, sure. Meanwhile, please. All right. Hey, Francisco. Uh, yeah, because Anne is she. Yes. Which what? number are you doing right now? I'm the winner. Six. Number 16. 16. Okay, good. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, did you guys finish the, the exercise already? Yes, yes. we finished. We finished. Okay, so let's go back to the main session. But Irania, uh -huh. ¿sí? ella acaba de ingresar. Oh, she just joined in. Okay, yes. so we will do it all together uh, with the rest of the guys. So we're going back. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right, can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay. So may I have a volunteer? I know that some of you just incorporated and that's why we're doing this exercise um, all together to make sure that everybody's on the same page. So number four, why is she late? How will you say that in the simple past? Volunteer? Teacher, the answer is the number four is why was she late? Good. Number five, my brother is a doctor. My brother was a doctor. Very good. Number six, they aren't here. They, they weren't. weren't here. Good, they weren't here. Eva is a teacher. Eva was see? a teacher. Eva was a teacher, very good. What about number eight? Is Mr. Smith the taxi driver? Was Mr. Smith a taxi driver? Okay. What about number nine? Where are your books? Mother volunteer. 
Where were your books? Where were your books? Exactly. What about number 10? Are you a student? Somebody? I have 15, 16 people connected. I need more volunteers. Are you a student? Were you a student? Number 11. What is that? What was that? What was that? Good. Sue isn't tired. What, what is the past form of that sentence? Sue wasn't tired. Good, very good. Sue wasn't tired. Yes. 13, my holiday is nice. My holiday was nice. Good. Nice. Why are you happy? Why were you happy? Why were you happy? Yes. The pen is blue? The pen was blue. Good. Am I the winner? Was I am. And was the winner? Was I, was I the winner? Was I the winner? What about 17? Is, is the answer correct? Was the answer was correct. correct? Okay. Was the answer correct? Who is sick? Who was sick? Who was sick? We are hungry. We was hungry. We were hungry. We were, we were hungry. hungry. We were. We were. We were hungry. Yes. And that is funny. That is what. That funny. was funny. That was that funny. Was funny. <laughs> okay. Very good. Now, um, some of the the topics we will see in this course, uh, for some of you guys, will be just like a refreshment of your memory. Uh, so just to make sure that everybody's on the same page are there any questions with this exercise no questions no teacher i only have a question for what is the mean holiday holiday can somebody explain the meaning of the word holiday uh, christmas is a holiday uh, holiday means a uh, date with uh, has to celebrate. Uh -huh. And people life. usually don't work. That is correct. Okay, oh. teacher, I understand. Thank okay, you. very good. Okay, uh, any other questions or comments? No? Okay, so let me... Um, let me go here. I thought I had the window open. So right here. Give me a second. One second. I'm trying to open a page, an image. Here, right here, it's loading, okay. here we are. Okay, so, um, it's a knowledge check to make sure that uh, everybody understands what we are doing um, with this song. So, Okay, can you see the image? Yes. 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 Okay. So remember, uh, when you are saying something positive in the simple past tense, the verb is always in the past form. I broke my leg. I went to Mexico. I bought new shoes. Everything is in the simple past tense. There is one exception when you say this verb in the simple past form you need to use was or were and that is the verb born so how do you say donde nació usted in english how do you make that question in english donde nació usted where was born where were you born okay. where were you born Remember, uh, when we're using the past tense of be, 
uh, you mm -hmm. have two options. You have was and you have were. Was is for I plus the third person singular. So I, he, she, it. Everybody else, you have to use were. So um, once again, how do you say donde nació usted in English? Mm -hmm. Where? Where were you born? Where were you born? Okay. All right. So let's let's do this exercise here. So we have number one, which is the correct use? He was born in Spain. He were born in Spain, or he weren't born in Spain. Which one is good? Number the, the number first one. The first, first one. Very good. Number two, you should say my parents. What is the correct complement? One, two, or three? Well, What's the, the third one. Three. We're in three. France. Three. Okay. Well, now remember, well. observation. How do you say yeah. donde estuviste or donde estabas in English? Where you are? Where, where? Where, where, where you are. Okay, here's the observation. When you want to say donde, you say where. If you want to pronounce the past tense of be, which is are, then you say were. Yeah. So you say, yeah. where were you? Where were you? Yeah. So you should say, my parents were in yeah. France. Yeah. Were in France. Is that clear? Yes. Okay. Where were. Where were. Okay. Number three, what is grammatically correct? Um, answer to this question. Where were you born? The second one. I was born second. in Mexico. The second one. Good. What about number four? My wife and I where? Where, where is correct. Where? Now, my wife I, is singular. I no. is singular. But no. when you mention no. two people in the same sentence, it becomes a uh, plural. So my wife oh. and I were in oh. Mexico. Very good. And the last one, the English quiz, a little difficult. Was. 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 Very was. good. Because it's one quiz. Exactly. Because it's only one thing. So uh, as you can see, your answers were correct. All right. Uh, any questions so far? No. No? Okay. Do you guys remember uh, used to? Used to. I used to live downtown San Salvador. I used to play soccer when I was a kid. I used to listen to Spanish music. When do you use used to in English? Uh... When you're talking about something you used to be <laughs> or okay. you used to do. Okay. Now, can you use another form and not include used to in your answer? So when do we use used to? What is the function of used to? Your answer is good, but I want you to use other vocabulary where we don't use used to again. Used to. Okay. So what would be the answer? Anybody in the uh, class? Uh, I remember that you used, used to when you are talking about something you, you, you did in the past, but you don't do anymore. Good. Or vice versa. Something that you didn't do in the past, but now you do. For example, I can say, when I was a kid, I didn't used to eat vegetables. Now I do. So it can go from positive to negative or negative positive. Very good. Um, how do you make questions using used to? How will you, how will you make a question? Hold on, this one. We can use the, um, WH question or can use the auxiliary did. Okay, good. Yes, you can, uh, 
you can definitely use did to make a question. So uh, like you guys were saying, something that you did in the past, but you don't do anymore. Or something that you didn't do in the past, but now you do. Any questions or comments about used to? How do you say used to in Spanish? Anybody? Solía ser. Solía, solía ser. Exactly. O solía ser. Yeah. So you say used to plus the action that you did in the past, but you don't do anymore. Or the action you didn't do in the past, but now you do. So let me show you this. So used to is another option that we have to talk about past events. So look at the first, uh, the first sentence. What did people used to do before television was invented? How will you make that question in Spanish? Volunteer. ¿Qué solía hacer la gente antes de que se inventara la televisión? Good, very good. So as you can see, the question, uh, when you make a question and you want to include Yusu, it is necessary that you include auxiliary did. Did you used to study in uh, whatever school? Did you used to live in Santa Tecla? Did you used to work for Avianca maybe? So um, that is the function of used to. Things you didn't do in the past, but now you do. Or things that you didn't do in the past, you did in the past, but now you don't anymore. <coughs> Any questions or comments before you start doing this exercise? Teacher. Yes? When you use to, you need add did always. Uh, if it's a question, yes. So in this case, you say, what did people used to do before television was invented? Oh, for what I understand, people used to read more. So you include did when you're making a question. So when you use did, used to doesn't have a D. You're going to use the D form when you are saying something positive so let me let me show you the, this chat okay did you used to live in santa tecla i'm using a, do you see the chat the chat in the in the platform Um, yes. Yes, I used to live in Las Delicias. Yes, I used to live in Las Delicias. So as you can see, if you're using auxiliary did, used to doesn't need a D. You will use a D when the information is positive. Now imagine that the answer is negative. You will say, no, I didn't used to live there. So if you use auxiliary did, you don't use a D. If you use the negative, you don't use a D either. You will use a D only when the information is positive. Any questions or comments? Can you think about one example of the things you used to do when you were a kid, but you don't do anymore? What are the traditional games in El Salvador uh, for little kids? Um.
Can, can you think about the games you used to play when you were a kid? I used to play with my friends when I was a kid, uh, police and, and beef and thief. Okay, cops and robbers. Yes, cops and robbers. Yes. Okay, good, good. Okay, Gabriela, we're an example. Did you used to play soccer? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. So to answer that question, yes, I did. Or I can also say, no, I didn't. So you can perfectly answer questions using used to by using did or didn't. Any questions before you start doing the exercise? Do you see the image that I have in the, in the screen? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So there's the image. If you want to take an, an, uh, a picture out of it. And if not, I already sent it to the WhatsApp chat. So let me change the. Okay. I will move room to room two. And out of room, move to room eight, and move to room eight as well. So we're going to exchange with Noelle, and I will exchange this one. Okay, so are you guys ready? Yes. yes. All right, here we go. Let's do the practice. Can you hear me, Juan? Tercera. Sí. Which one are you doing? Okay. 
the first one, okay. I will do the first. Okay. What did what did people use to do before television was invented? I think the people used to spend time spend more time with his family. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, what job did your grandfather used to have? My grandfather used to. I I don't I don't understand well this question. What was the uh, occupation yeah. of your grandfather? What was? Uh huh. What was his occupation? Uh, okay. Um, uh, my grandfather used to um builder. Used to be a builder. Okay, a construction okay. worker. Yes. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Another answer. Um. Okay. Let me try. What did people mm -hmm. use to before television was in there? I think. I think. The. I think the people used to. Hello, Juan. Hello. Clara, Claudia, and Juan. Yes. yes. Um, Which number are you doing? Uh, the number seven. Okay, good. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Number six, what hobby yeah. did you used to have 10 years ago? Mm. 10 years ago. How old are you? I'm 23 years old. Um, okay. And you? Very young. <laughs> 36. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Really? <laughs> Hundred of years ago. Oh, I really don't know, but the people used to different games, or because they they didn't have internet and they didn't have and on TV or I don't know, and possi possibly. Mm, the people use it to different games or speak more. Hi, teacher. Hello. Uh, I'm just talking about, I ran about the topic, but uh, I shared the example you give us uh -huh. a few minutes, and she's now getting into the right. <laughs> okay, that's good. So, are you doing one in particular or just general? Uh, general. Okay, that's good. And you are working with Irania. Irania, yes. Can you hear me, Irania? Hi, teacher. How are you? Good, and you? I'm doing okay, thank you. Um, is, is, is the topic clear? for you guys? Um, Francisco and Irani? Yes. Uh, yeah. it's, it has to answer the, 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 the questions. questions. Exactly. Yes. All right, good. Flechas or, I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, yes, people use uh, uh, to con uh, con uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. maybe. Porque dice como un tiempo atrás como usar un auxiliar antes. Entonces tenés que comenzar con el people use to o okay. they use to. Uh -huh. 
Ah, okay, esa era mi pregunta. Uh -huh. People use people used to travel in um, carretas. Carts. Carts. C A R T S. Carts. Carts. No, C A R T. If it's singular, cart. If it's plural, you say carts. Yeah, so okay. people used to use carts. C A C A R T. If it's one, if it's plural, R you put the S. R T. C A R E T. No, C A R T. Cart. Ah, cart. Yes. Right. Thanks, teacher. Very good. Very good. Maybe. Comida chatarra. Mm. Or fast food. Fast food. Fast food. Yeah, fast food, junk food. Junk food. Okay. Teacher, what is the meaning of this question, the number nine? Why did people use to have shorter lives hundreds, lives hundreds of years ago? Okay, so a Short. cor shorter, más cortas. ¿Por qué la gente tenía vidas yeah. más cortas hace 100 años? Okay. Yep. Mm. Now, what is the answer Maybe. for that question? Maybe that people didn't use to have technology. Okay. Medicine, medicinal technology, maybe. Okay. Right. Medicine was not as good as it is right now, so that must be an influence. Yes. Okay. Yes. In in Spanish, I think is porque la gente solía tener vidas más cortas hace cientos de años. Exactly. What is the answer for that question? It's number nine. Okay, so what is the answer? So why did people used to have shorter lives hundreds of years ago? Maybe the the maybe because in the past uh, they the we we have more uh, illness. Okay, and no cure for the illness. Yeah, makes sense. Maybe they don't have a doctor or the medicine. Uh, they did an event, event. Exactly. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. No, I study two in university. I have two courses in the university and this. Because I need to learn English very well. Because my career, I study tourism. And I need to learn very well English to talk. And I need it for my job. Good. What university are you studying? In Unicai. Oh, okay. Oh, you're, you're in Santana? Yeah. Okay, good. What year are you studying there? Um, what? What year are you studying? What semester are you studying there? Uh, I finish. Oh, I am fin addressed. Oh, yeah. okay. And, and you teacher, did you study, do you learn English? I, I grew up in California. I lived in California. Oh. Yep. So, so when do you officially finish your, your university? Uh, I officially finish the, this month, I finish my semester. Okay. But uh, I'm missing English levels. I okay. need to do 2011 and missing eight. Okay. Two. Okay. All right. And how much time is each level? Uh, one level during oh, 
one month. Okay. So you have eight, eight months to go. Yes. All right. Good, good. Keep it up. Thanks. Good. All right, I think it's time to go back to the main session. Um, sure. I live I live in, in Colonia Loma de Monte Cristo. Oh, okay. We already answered all the questions. Okay. The let's... last one the last one was good. We have to to invent it. <laughs> right. Use your imagination. <laughs> okay, very good. Let's go back to the main session. Okay. All right. Uh, may I have a volunteer to answer the first question? What did people used to do before television was invented? I heard some answers that were very interesting. Can you please share? Somebody? Anybody? Can you repeat, teacher? Can you answer question number one? What did people used to do before television was invented? Yes. People used to reel more. Okay. Good. Someone else wants to answer number one? And people used to share more with other person. Good, very good. People used to share more, people used to read more, very good. What about number two? How did people used to travel before there were cars? Um, teacher, I say the answer. Well. Um, I think the people used to the bicycle or... Oh, okay, okay, bicycle is an option. Another option of how people used to go from one place to another? People used to ride in horse, maybe? Yeah, horses. Good, very good. All right, what about number three? How did people used to see at night before there were electric lights? So at this time of, of, of the day, everything was dark. So what did they used to see things? They used, they used to see the sky, the moon. Okay. So the reflection from the moon helped them. Yeah. Okay. It's a full moon. Yep. Other possibilities? They used to use candles. Yeah, maybe. Good. What about number four? What games did you use to play as a child? Somebody answered, well, I used to play cops and robbers. What did you used to play as a child? Uh, hide and seek. Good, hide and seek. I used to play hide and seek. Good, hide and seek. That's a very interesting game. Okay, uh, another game that somebody used to play, but they don't do anymore? And I used to play Jack. 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 Uh-huh, good, good. Okay. Someone else, everybody here had a childhood. What did you used to play when you were a kid? Volunteer or victim? <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Claudia Rivas, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. What did you used to play when you were a little girl? I used to play with my Barbies. <laughs> okay, good. Marvin, what did you used to play? Marvin, can you hear me? You play. Did you play? I used to play. What did you used to play, Marvin? Uh, you, I, did you play soccer? Okay, good, good. All right, uh, number five, what job did your father used to have? 
my grandfather used to work in customs. Do you guys remember the meaning of the word customs? Customs yeah. means aduanas. So my grandfather used to work in customs. What about your grandfather? Uh, sería como custodia? Uh, custodia o resguardo? Uh, customs. Customs es aduanas. Ah, oh, okay. Uh -huh. So my, my grandfather, he used to work in customs. What about yours? My grandfather, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> la practicamos. My, gran, my grandfather uh, used to be a soldier. Okay, very good. Someone else wants to remember your grandfather? What did he? My, I my remember grandfather. Okay. Uh-huh, go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Uh, my grandfather used to make soap. Soap. It has a factory. Yes, of oh. soap. Oh, good. Uh, soap for for the body or like detergent? Uh, detergent. Okay. For uh, for the clothes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Someone else? My grandfather, teacher. Uh huh. Um, he used to working uh, a doctor. Okay, he used to be a doctor. Good. Yes. Someone else wants to remember your grandfather? My grandfather used to be a farmer. Good, very good. So we had farmers, soldiers, doctors, different ones. Anybody else? <clears throat> okay, what about number six? What hobby did you used to have 10 years ago? Something that you did 10 years ago, but you don't do anymore? Or do you continue doing the same things you did 10 years ago? It's a question. I, I used to ride a bike. Good, I used to ride a bike. Very good. What about number I seven? Uh-huh, yeah, I tell used us. To... I used to watch the the chapters and this moment I don't watch watch any I don't watch TV in the in the TV. Okay. Um, Very good. When, when only I watch a child. Okay. Someone else wants to share what you did ten years ago? Um I used I, to bake. Good. I used to bake. Very good. Someone else? I used to play the, uh, virtual games in my computer. Good, very good. All right. What about number seven? How long ago did most people used to hunt animals for food? How many years ago? <clears throat> or do they still hunt for food? Uh, in some countries, they all they do that. Yeah, they still do it. They still do that. <laughs> exactly, exactly. All right. Number eight, what did people used to do before cameras were invented? What did they used to do to make pictures? <clears throat> they used to drawing. They used to draw, yes, okay. And let's go to painting. They used to painting. Good. They used to paint them. Good. So painting, drawings. Okay. And number 10. Let's go to number 10. I used to, <clears throat> but now I don't. Can you give us I an used, example? Uh -huh. I used to sleep 10 hours, but now I don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, someone else. No life. Yeah. Things you did in the past, but you don't do anymore? I used to play softball, but now. Okay, I used to play softball. Very good. Someone else. Yeah. Okay. I used to run uh, all the morning, uh -huh. but I, I don't. Okay. Another volunteer? I, okay, I used to do 
as cycling o uh -huh. ciclismo, creo. Bike riding. But uh -huh. Bike riding, okay, yes. but now I don't. Okay, good. Another volunteer. I used to sing at the church, okay. but now I don't. Okay, very good. So you were part of the choir. That's good. Uh, someone else wants to share something you did in the past, but you don't do anymore? No? Okay. So, um, any questions or comments about today's lesson? No, everything is clear. Okay. So remember, if, uh, if you want to ask me anything about the platform, about the class, about the topics, feel free to send me a WhatsApp. And when I get the chance, I will answer to your question. So if you don't have any questions or comments, I just want to say thank you for being in class. And we continue tomorrow, same place, same time. Have a good night. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Goodbye, Bye. everyone. Bye-bye. Thank, Bye. Bye. thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Have a good night. Bye. You too. Thank you.